it's either a world of no nukes or, you know, everybody has nukes. As it stands now, the most powerful countries in the world have nuclear weapons, and these countries need to set an example for the rest of the world so that other nations can see the right thing being done. I mean, we need to convince the world that these nuclear weapons are not only a danger to the country involved or the country at war, they affect the entire world. Radioactive fallout is, affects the entire world. It does not just affect someone's home country. You know, just recently the United States wants Iran to disarm, yet Iran is surrounded by other countries in that region that have nuclear weapons. Um, so we cannot dictate that. These nuclear weapons countries need to set an example. Everyone needs to sign the treaties to disarm. And we also must learn to communicate with each other. Um, it doesn't work when you have a country saying, I don't communicate with this country because I think they're terrorists. We need to have an open line of communication throughout the entire world. And finally, we, learned, we need to learn to respect each other more and learn to embrace our differences. Um, instead of fighting over petty issues, uh, we need to realize that we're all human beings and we need to realize the devastation that something like a nuclear war could do. As of now, we have nuclear weapons that can destroy the world, you know, many times over. So we need to stand firm, learn to communicate with each other more, embrace our differences, and everyone start setting an example. Let's start at home, you know, in the United States of America, where I'm from, like to see us start by disarming and get rid of, getting rid of all of our nuclear weapons. Only then can we, I think, convince the rest of the world to follow suit.